This week on Moving Markets. A year into the pandemic and the toll it's taken on consumption is apparent in the results of fast-moving consumer good companies. How did the Japanese economy manage to pull off a strong comeback from COVID-19? And blank check companies are taking over Wall Street like never before. Foremost is coming up to the one-year anniversary of living under some form of lockdown, and sectors like food and beverage as well as tourism and hospitality have been decimated, while large-scale events have become nearly non-existent. This has been bad news for the fast-moving consumer goods industry. Unsurprisingly, results of the Malaysian-listed Carlsberg and Heineken posted poor full-year results due to the pandemic. Carlsberg's net profit was down 44% from 2019, while Heineken's dropped 52%. Both indicate that consumption at home simply cannot compensate for the sales decline to the hotel, restaurant and catering segment. On the back of this news, Carlsberg Malaysia's stock closed down nearly 3%, while Heineken Malaysia fell 0.5%. But is the worst over for these consumer stocks? It's very likely, since Malaysia is starting on their vaccine rollout. And as the SOPs for the FMB sector are gradually lifted, top-line sales are set to recover. We have seen K, V, W and even U-shaped economic recoveries, but most governments are hoping to achieve the elusive V-shaped recovery. And one country that may have achieved this is Japan. In the last quarter of 2020, the Japanese economy grew at an annualized pace of 12.7% from the preceding quarter. And although GDP for the full year did shrink by 4.8% for the full year, that was better than economists had forecasted. In fact, the economy has rebounded nearly to the pre-pandemic level levels seen in late 2019. This is a marked contrast to Japan's slow recovery following the financial crisis of 2008 and 2009, which was caused by more structural issues rather than a virus. The country also rolls out its vaccination program this week, which should catalyze further recovery. The risk, however, is that Japan has been under emergency restrictions since January, so the economy may shrink again this quarter. A stark reminder that until COVID-19 is fully behind us, recovery is likely to be patchy. The era of ultra-cheap money is turning out to be a heyday for SPACs, or Special Purpose Acquisition Companies. And as a testament to that, more SPACs have already gone public so far this year than in all of 2019. A SPAC is also called a blank check company because it's an entity without any operations of its own. Its entire purpose is to find a private company to acquire and take public, at which point the investors would theoretically be able to cash out on their initial investment. But why has it risen to popularity now? Well, many investors may see SPACs as having low downside risk since they can redeem their shares for cash if they don't like the acquisition eventually proposed by the SPAC. But there are risks involved. For example, if investors buy shares of a SPAC at a premium to its value in cash and the acquisition turns out to be a flop, they could wind up losing money. And since SPACs are seen as a way for startups to list on the public market without all of the scrutiny that an IPO entails, the level of disclosure is lower. And that's what's been moving markets.